In the last video, we got our proof of concept working. Oh, oh, look, it showed up. Yes. And now I need to create a rough design. I just need enough to guide me while I'm building it so that I know what I'm building. It's not going to be anything crazy, just a rough sketch. So what exactly does that look like? I follow this flow here. I start out with a feature list. What is this app going to have? Then from there, I move on to like separating that into screens and components. And after that, I design it. Okay, so the main feature of this app is showing screen time statistics. I want to show pickups, your screen time, and then I saw something that Opal was doing on their website, Great Artist Steal. And I'm not stealing, but they said, we've saved our users this amount of time, and it was some mind-blowing number. So I would like to do the opposite of that and be like, you spent 16 hours on your phone the past two days. You could have done this really impressive thing in that time to make your user feel bad because that's the goal. That's a joke, but I, I really want to wake them up. From there, I, I added AI insight. I feel like you could use AI, some sort of library here to, to say like, come up with a fact. You know, if this person wasted 10 hours, what would you say to sort of wake them up in that way? The next feature I want to look at is what I'm going to call lockdown mode. Okay, so you're going to be able to block certain apps and categories. You're going to be able to set time constraints. And I think it would be cool to customize how apps are blocked, like adding like a message like, hey, are you sure you want to do this? It's not a good idea. Or like a scary fact there as they're about to open it, be like, this is the 17th time you've opened this thing. And then notifications for like, hey, you should go into lockdown mode. And the only other thing to this is the secret feature, my unique twist that I promise to tell you at some point. So to put those in the screens, it seems pretty straightforward. You're gonna have home, stats, profile, and settings. That's leaving out my secret feature, but I think that's more of a component. Now we go into designs. At this stage, when I'm designing, I have what I want. I have my features, I have my screens. Now I want some inspiration for how this might look. So what I do is I get on Google. I have subscribed to services in the past. Uh, my favorite one was mobbin.design. They're amazing. I just didn't use it as much as I thought I would. The screens we're gonna have, really I want a beautiful way to show the statistics and I want a well laid out home screen. But yeah, I, I rely on Google a lot. You go to Google Images, search, just search like whatever app design that you want and then you kind of peer through them. I like this one a lot. I like the cleanliness of the graph. This one's cool. Okay, I'm gonna save some of these. I'm just gonna screenshot build a little inspo folder. I like this dark one. I like this one a lot, actually. This is clean. And I like the dark, dark modes the best. Can we be honest? Most used apps, this one's cool. In my designs, there's a three-step process. Step one, inspiration. Step two is what does this screen have? Step three, how does this screen look? So it's like inspiration, organize the features like what will this screen hold and then design the screen so on the home screen i definitely want like a graph i love how these clean i also know i want a statistic snapshot that will take you to like the wider statistics screen but like a maybe like an encouraging message or like a wow factor message but something that says like you know you've been using your phone for this much compared to last week for example and then there's going to be two more components one of those being my secret feature and the other one being a lockdown action. So like from home, you should be able to open the app, quickly hit like lockdown mode. Maybe it's like a bottom sheet that comes up. I like that. So I'm terrible at drawing. Just don't make fun of me. This is what I'm envisioning for the home screen. At the top, we have our insights, like a snapshot of like, you know, 2% increase and whatever. We have a graph in the middle and then we have our lockdown button that is easily accessible from the bottom of the screen because your thumb. I added the settings gear. I like putting settings somewhere easily accessible as well. And that's it for the home screen. This is what the app is going to look like when you open it up. And it'll be cool to see the finished product compared to this. I tried to create a lock for lockdown and it doesn't look like a lock at all. But 
I'm not a designer. The other main one is the statistics screen. So I want my statistics screen to be very insightful. So we're gonna have the number of pickups, your screen time, obviously, a message, like I said, that could be like a scary, like, hey, you've been on your phone for the same amount of time as like five movies. That's crazy. You wouldn't just sit there and watch five movies. Bad example, but anyway. And then we have advanced graphs with comparison. So I would love to be like, like a stock ticker almost. Like your screen time has increased or decreased compared to last week, compared to last month. And I want the user to easily be able to adjust those settings. I also think it'd be cool, but there are privacy concerns of being like, this is how it compares to the average user. This is how it compares to someone in your age range, country. I don't know. That feels kind of dicey given what we know about the privacy concerns, but I want the graph to be advanced. So lots of filters, lots of adjustments. Okay, so I'm not as confident in this screen, but at the top of the screen, you'll see two uh, components. I broke those out to here. This would be your pickups and your screen time. I think it would be helpful to have like, here's today, here's your average, and then something else. I just added a question mark there. I wanna keep moving. After that, this is my graph that could break down into week, month, and year. And as I was drawing this, I was thinking like, how cool would it be to have a calendar that you could click, forgot that word, and it would maybe like pop up with insights for that day, like pickups, screen time, etc. So that's cool. I just don't know where to fit. Like, I guess lockdown would live in settings, but it's tricky, you know, and settings is like, kind of an afterthought, which it shouldn't be with an app like this, especially. So I need, I need to do some thinking here. So these are our two main screens. We've got our home and our statistics, and I'm, I'm imagining like a tab view that we would cycle through these. But with these finished, that only leaves my secret feature, which I already know how I want it to look. You know, earlier I was playing around on my phone and I was just trying to pay attention to the apps I use. And all of the ones that I use are so simple. It's a mistake to set out to build like five different things from the beginning. You wanna do one thing really, really well, maybe two. So just going back to the, the list of features that I had earlier, it's like, I don't need to use AI. It's ridiculous. I don't, it's a screen time app. I can put a lot of messages in there and just randomly toggle through them. And honestly, lockdown mode, I wanna keep that simple. I don't wanna to get too crazy with that. Maybe it's just like it locks everything down. That would be easy to build. And it's like the extreme version of like, are you gonna use your phone or not? Like don't, I don't like how I can select different things. If it's locked down, it's locked down. Simplicity wins. So I don't think we're gonna block certain apps and categories with lockdown mode. I don't think I'm gonna have time constraints. I think you can predetermine, lock it down for this amount of time and it's locked. I don't need to do notifications. So there's still some things to think about, but getting these two screens nailed down is like 90% of the battle for me when it comes to designing. So, you know what color I'm grabbing. I would like to happily declare that our rough design is finished. Next time, we're gonna build.